What's going on guys? Welcome back to the MR Life YouTube channel. In today's video, I am doing a behind the scenes piece of work for the beloved James Matthews. If you haven't checked him out already, go to his YouTube channel, check out his Instagram. He is doing bits at the moment. I'm just driving to his house because he wanted me to film some behind the scenes footage for him. So um, thank you, cheers. Um, yeah, he wanted me to film some behind the scenes footage for him. He's doing some work for Allianz, the insurance company. He just basically wants to show them how he's put their video together so pretty sick stuff it's gonna take me about half an hour to get to his gaff uh, roll the b-roll so the gopro's on the dashboard a bit of a bodge job to be fair i've run out of those gopro connectors that you can stick to different surfaces so nowadays i'm just using tape to, to tape a connector to any surface which is a little bit of a bodge job but i'll grab some more of those gopro connectors when i can sorry about that guys i forgot to format the memory card in the gopro from my trip to iceland so whilst i was just recording that clip it just said full so i had to pull over and bloody quickly delete a couple of things so that i could carry on with this you know what i'm bored already so let's have a couple of questions for you guys to answer the first question on my mind is what do we think the police would think if they see me filming now with a gopro on the dashboard i personally think it would be fine because i've still got my eyes on the road and i'm still concentrating on driving second question does the gopro the newest gopro have live streaming because that would be awesome if you could record on a journey say two or three hours and you could live stream to your subscribers whilst you're driving to chat that would be amazing the third question are liverpool going to win the league i am a liverpool fan but i don't know if we have got what it takes to win the league this year i think manchester city are far too strong i know that sounds like i'm being a little bit negative but I'm a realist. I just don't think Liverpool have got the squad depth to be able to do that, especially being in the Champions League still. So yeah, let me know whether you think Liverpool are going to win the league or not. If you're not a Liverpool fan, feel free to leave some comments, but don't get abusive. There's no need for that. It's all love. It's football at the end of the day. And the last question for you guys is, where do you think I should go to next and film a video? I've just come back from Iceland. I've got a two-part series of that trip. The first and second parts have just been dropped on the YouTube channel. Check out the links here and here. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of that trip. I proper, proper enjoyed it. See some amazing scenery. I would definitely recommend going to Iceland if I was you. Uh, we spent like five days there, drove around the southeast coast of the country in a 4x4. I'd love to go back and do the north, but the weather was pretty, pretty bad up there, so we couldn't even consider going up there to see what it was like so there's a second trip that i could potentially do in the future but i'd like to go somewhere different first of all so let me know where you think i should go next and i'll see what i can put together yes guys right so we've just arrived i'm just about to knock on james's front door um let's crack on with this video i've just entered the main man's kitchen we're in, mate. What's happening? We're in. Good, yeah? Yeah, good, mate. So we're just like reviewing some of this footage and we're deciding like what shots we're going to go next. I've got storyboard and that. So yeah, hopefully it's going to be decent, mate. I should probably tell you guys for the purpose of the video that I was with James last week, but we was quite limited because of the weather. How much of a pain was the weather, bro? Nightmare, mate. We had terrible weather. Like the sun came out for like about 15 minutes. We made use of it, got the shots. Then it just tore it down, mate. Heavens <laughs> opened, chaos. So we got yeah. soaked, didn't we, George? So he was quite limited in the shots that he was getting, so I've come back again this weekend um, just to sort of get the last bits and pieces that he needs to get for this video. So let's crack on. Yes, okay. we're good, bro. Right, so we've had an absolute nightmare with the weather. Just started to clear up. Look over there, we've got some blue sky now. Unreal. But it was absolutely smashing it down before. But we've got Georgie all set up in his yellow coat. We're going to get him changed into some of the other gear once we get over there, and yeah. Should be good. You excited, George? Yeah. So I scouted out a location about a week ago that is literally just at the end of this field. It's really lucky because it's like right near where I live. So I wanted to make this film with like all of the resources that are actually available just to show that you can make a film with everything that you basically got. So uh, yeah, nice little hill that will hopefully look onto some blue sky. But um, this cloud's coming over, so we'll see if we're lucky. And George is going to be walking across the hill with his uh, space rocket, isn't it? It's not a plane. Yeah. He keeps telling me off because it's a, it's a rocket, not a plane. So, 
Yeah, we're gonna go down there now and see if we can get this shot looking sweet. Yeah, mate, that's it. Banging. That Georgie, sick. well done, mate. <laughs> We've smashed that one. Bosh. Might have a handheld. Right, George, I'm actually going to get you to sit down now. You want to sit on there, George? Take a seat there, Georgie. I'm actually going to open your coat, George, if that's all right. Thank you. Imagine you're flying it and you're really, you really, really want to be an astronaut, okay? Nice, Georgie. Right, so for this shot, because I'm actually going to stick like a fake Mars up in the sky, I actually need to have the shot locked off so that I can then lock off the actual PNG file up in the sky. So yeah, let's get the tripod out. Right, okay. Three, two, one, bring it down. Brilliant. Uh, you know what, I'm actually gonna, I might call it here because it's, it's gonna start raining now. Right, Georgie, should we go back before it starts raining? So we can actually go and shoot back further this way, which is closer to my house. So we're going to go inside, wait for this rain to pass when it eventually comes. And then we can actually just shoot the rest of it over there because I only need to see blue sky. I don't actually need to see any foreground, so it could literally be anywhere. Uh, but yeah, just needed that little hill to get that shot of George actually walking over. So how was that, Georgie? Yeah? So as you can see, mate, not ideal situation. This is what happens when you're filming. Can't control the weather. It's not good, is it, George? No. Right, so the rain has passed, and I've been kind of left with no option but to shoot the very final scene today because it's the most important part. So, unfortunately, we couldn't get all the shots that we needed earlier because obviously it was absolutely smashing it, Dan. But yeah, there's a really nice field up here. And it's like a rapeseed field that hasn't quite blossomed yet, and it kind of gives me like them interstellar vibes. So buzzing to shoot up here. This is going to be the very final shot where the actual rocket goes up in the sky and George sees it. Yeah, it should be good fun. Hopefully we've got enough light left because I'm going to make the sky a lot darker in post to make it look like it is kind of a little bit nighty with a couple of stars up in the sky. So yeah, should be sick. Hopefully we can make it work. Right, okay George, what we're going to do as fast as you can up here and then up there out into the field, okay? This is old school. This is what I used to do before I even had a glide cam. Okay, Georgie, three, two, one, action. Go up there. Let's go up, up into the field. You can hear the rocket. You know what? That wasn't even bad. Was it all right? Yeah. Can we have a little look? That bit there, 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 there. Yeah, Jules, that's awesome. Yeah, that was cool. Give me one of them, Jules. You smashed that first time. What a G, man. That was sick. Give me one of those. I'm really happy with that. Thanks, Georgie. See what, mate? That's actually spot on. I thought I'd need the glide cam for that, but mate, George, I'm so happy we got that. That means you haven't got to get that one next time. First time as well. George, I don't know many actors that get that one first time. Don't know many camera operators that get it first time either. <laughs> right, so this is going to be the final scene. I'm going to shoot this way. I came and scouted it out the other night. The sun does set that way, so it's not going to be the best way for light. But if you check out these these clouds by the time they come over the sun goes down a little bit they should be like a nice yellowy pinky color if we're lucky and um, they should be right there in the background and that's when the rocket's going to come up and george is going to see it and it's going to be all epic at the end so um yeah i'm also going to have to actually set up on a tripod because the rocket is going to be going up in this shot and if there's camera movement then it's going to be very hard for me to do it because i'll be honest i'm terrible at like special effects we're actually going to go in there, George, so we might end up getting a little bit wet. And three, two, one, in, Georgie. Go, 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 go. Go, look up, rocket. Beautiful. <laughs> that's right. Thanks. Let's go. Boom, so that's day two wrapped up with Georgie. Um, obviously, we had a nightmare with the weather, but we got three decent shots that we really needed so obviously it's only a minute long film so we're doing all right and we george but we're gonna have to come back next week because i've only got like an extra couple of days to finish it so uh yeah but anyway the shots that we got were wicked gonna chuck them in now make sure they're good and georgie mate you smashed it again this geezer's gonna be an actor i'm telling you hey george James, what's going on here? Mate, I had some issues with my gimbal. I took it 
to a shoot in London the other day and it just like, the one of the motors was just a bit loose, so I've just taken it completely apart. I've done it all back up and now it's all tight again, but now I've got to try and put all the bits back in and it ain't easy, I'll be honest. And my eye is causing me issues. Come on, we don't need these kind of problems today. Do we, George? No. Not today. I think I've got me thumb now, mate. <laughs> yeah, James Murphy destroys his own gimbal. Hey, if anyone's wondering what this is, mate, this is George's, though. <laughs> sort him out, there's nothing you can do to save mine. <laughs> Not on the front, you're gonna ruin me air all day, mate. Right, looks like we're back in action, lads. Right, much better. Yo, people, so James has just been rectifying a few issues with his gimbal and tidying up a couple of the lenses that he's going to be using today but I think he's ready to go out now so we're going to head off and go and get these shots that we need. Boom! I haven't um, had the chance yet. We scouted out, well I scouted out that location like just over there last week but it's too foggy, it's like wet and foggy and all holy and I don't want Jules to run and like roll his ankle and that so if we nip over here hopefully this will be a bit flatter because all I really need is like some high grass for when George is running through it. So it kind of looks like he's free and in his own mind and his imagination and stuff. To be fair, that is actually the shot. Right, so I'm actually gonna shoot this one at 100 frames a second. And because on the A7S II, it actually crops in by like 2.2 times. So I'm gonna shoot it at about somewhere between 24 and 35 mil and then it's actually gonna look something more like a 50 or a 60 mil. And I've stuck an ND16 on it because I want to bring the aperture all the way down to f2.8 so that it kind of looks a bit dreamy, the background's out of focus and George is just kind of running through this field um, and it just almost looks like a dream. So George, I'm just going to get you to run with it, okay? Three, two, one, action, go, 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 go. Second shot, which is not of the plane, but it's of your body now. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go, Georgie, let's go. Good boy, I think that might have been right. Yeah, good. Georgie, that's perfect, mate. Give me one of them. Bosh! Right, let's head back, get these in, and then we'll crack on with the next shots. George, yeah? yeah. Happy with that? Is that plus two? Tell you what, this is a really nice, yeah, that's the, that's the first two. George, you're like, you look exactly how I always wanted my film to look. <laughs> Bless you. Okay, George, right, if you fly that plane for me. Right, I want to shoot it differently. So I'm just trying to get, like, George on the other side of the river flying his plane so we can kind of get a sense to, like, where he is. But at the moment, it's not quite working. If I take him a bit further around that way, it could work. That is actually going to work. George, I need you to move over there for me a little bit, mate, if that's right. Sorry. Two, one, flight, George. I was worried that shot wasn't really working, but now I've moved him into a better place, it is working. I need him to be high up, because when he drops the plane, it's gonna kind of drop on a on a flat piece, so I can't have it like rolling into the river. Well, I could do, but I don't want to. Because <laughs> the, the whole idea is that when he drops the plane, like this plane is like really precious to him as we've seen throughout the film and then it, as he drops it it shows that he's completely dropping everything that kind of means anything to him to go and like find exactly what this noise is because he's got an idea of what it is um, and what he thinks it is is he's actually what he thought it was it's a space rocket i might need to go and grab my I little mini do you want to use this i've that got a, I might I've got a ball to, head as well if you want to use it you? yeah if you don't mind mate, yeah. Yeah, alright bro, one sec. Right, so I couldn't actually get the camera low enough on these little mini tripod legs that Rick's lent me. So I've had to like wedge it in the ground so it actually gets lower. So that's gonna get muddy. George, you ready to um drop this uh this plane, yeah? Yeah. You're gonna drop and run. Right George, you remember so when you're gonna drop it? Six. As soon as you drop it, you've got to sprint. There. Yep, and then you've got to sprint off, okay? okay. Three, two, one, go. Keep going, George. That felt good. Well that done, one. mate. <laughs> yeah, that was nice.
Okay, and three, two, one, rumble. Slow it down a little bit. Rumble. So we've been out for the last few hours. It's been proper productive day today. The weather's been better to us as well. There's James in the background there, just heading off to go to the next part where we're gonna shoot a few more clips. I've got George here. George, hello, mate. Hi. You been enjoying it today? Yep. Good. Are you gonna be a top class actor when you get older? Probably. I've just gotta wait for that sun to go behind, George. And then I'm gonna get you running towards the bushes. Which so, one? Which one would you prefer to run towards, George? Whichever one you want. That one. Okay, George. Three, two, one, go, run. Mate, shooting on this honestly just makes you want to shoot on a glide cam again. This shot is like butter, mate. You pleased with that? Yeah, that's well nice. Hold your horses. Because I just trod in a, trod? Trod in a cow poo. Typical Essex thing, mate. If you're from Essex, you know what I mean. Right, George, one more, yeah? Is that right, Georgie? I want to tread in it one more time. That's why we're going again. I want the other shoe now. Three, two, one, action, just go. Yeah, cool, we got that. We'll keep it. Cool, what a workout. Oh. Hey. <laughs> right, you're gonna run as quick as you can through these bushes. Start from yeah, start from there. Go, George, go. Okay, thank you, Georgie. He doesn't look like shocked enough. Georgie, come and look here for me, mate. I just want to show you. You're very, very close, mate, but you just need to look more shocked, okay? Watch this. Right, see, you see your face? You look more like your head's down. You need to have your head up. More, more, you know, like your reaction over there? Yeah. That's how we need your face, okay? Like this. Exactly like that. Right, okay, Georgie. Three, two, one, let's go. Well done, Georgie. I think that was nice. Let's have a look. <coughs> yeah, good. Well done, Georgie. That was nice. Feeling good about that, George? Come on in, Georgie, let's go. Talk back. I got it. Yes guys, what is happening? I've just got back from James Matthews' house. We had a really productive day today. Me, him and the actor George, his little cousin, uh, managed to get all the shots that he needed for his Allianz film. And obviously I've done some behind the scenes uh, footage for him, which I think he's gonna upload to his channel as well. I'm um, putting together this video. So we've got plenty of footage to show you guys. Sorry, I just had to clear the windscreen because the window was a bit foggy. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm just driving home now. I've had to turn on the light on real quick because it's getting dark. For the observant ones, you've probably noticed that the bark that I had in the back of my car this morning has now disappeared. That's because I got home and uh, obviously unloaded the car and then realized that I hadn't done the outro. So I've just shot back out to obviously film this scene <laughs> to stitch it all together. So I hope that you guys appreciate that I'll pop back out. I'm in a rush to be honest because I'm going to watch the boxing tonight. I'm going to the Copper Box Arena to watch Lawrence Akolai fight uh, Waddy Camacho. Uh, my friend's uncle is one of the trainers for Waddy, so we got some tickets to go and watch him tonight. It'd be nice to go out and just have a beer with a couple of friends. Please like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bells. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I say, I really enjoyed working with James today and last week, and I hope that I can do some more work with him in the future. Peace, love, but most importantly, take care of yourself people and I'll see you in the next one. Boom!